Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a comparison and like a review video and it's going to be on foiled eyeshadows. So I have my holy grail all time favorite makeup geek foiled shadows. So I have all of these in a Z palette here. I'm going to be doing swatches to compare colors and also compare formulas for you guys just so that you can get a idea of which ones you'd want to purchase. So the shadows I'm going to be comparing them to are the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette. So I hauled this palette a little while ago now um, and that is what this palette here looks like. So you do get quite a few colors in here and they are quite broad. I do love how many colors are in here. So. I'm going to get started talking about my Makeup Geek eyeshadows first because I've been using those for the longest and I kind of have more of an opinion on those ones I guess so let's get into the review. So the first thing I want to say about Makeup Geek eyeshadows is that they are my all time favourite eyeshadows. I think a lot of you guys do know that by now um, if you've been watching me for a long time. These are the first like eyeshadows I bought when I was starting out in freelancing work so I knew I wanted to have a like really broad range of different colors and all of that kind of thing so I bought a whole heap of Makeup Geek eyeshadows and loved them and then when they brought out the foiled eyeshadows I was like just dead over how beautiful they looked and they are absolutely stunning. Like I said, I do have 14 colors. They do have more colors than this and I do believe they are bringing out more colors in the future, which is so super exciting. I will be buying more of them for sure. And to start out, I guess the formula of these is very, very, very creamy. It's a very buttery. It's like nothing I've ever used. It's completely metallic, like complete foiled metallic eyeshadows. I don't find I need to use a spray like Fix Plus or anything like that with these eyeshadows. They're just so foiled and so intensely pigmented on their own that I just really don't see the need to use that. Um, I mean, sometimes, uh, very occasionally I will, but generally these colors just have such a good payoff that I don't need to do it. So my all-time favorite shades I would have to say is Grandstand, which is this one here. It's like a rose gold bronzy kind of shade. I guess that's how I would describe it. And I love this shade for all over the lid. It is like one of my just holy grail makeup items in general. Like not even in eyeshadows, just in the whole like scheme of makeup. So yeah, I love, love, love Grandstand. I also love this shade here, which is called Charmed. It's a very unusual color. It's a hybrid between a light like olive green and a silver it's very very unusual and I just love it and I think my other favorite color would have to be flamethrower um, which is this beautiful ready coppery shade here and this color is just intensely pigmented like I don't know if you can see that on my finger there but that was just like me just dipping my finger in a tiny little bit and they just feel so, so, so creamy. They are absolutely incredible. My only downfall with these shadows would be that a couple of the darker colors, so this purple here called Caitlin Rose, um, and I do think this blue, which is called Center Stage, um, these two in particular, I do find they're not as pigmented. You do need to work them up a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's just because they are darker shades. But yeah, I did find that those colours do need a little bit more building up than the others. But at the same time, it's not like they are not pigmented. They still are very, very pigmented. Just not quite as foiled and as, like, intensely coverage-wise as the other ones, if that makes any sense. Those colours are also from the original range that she brought out. So she brought out um, the first lot of foiled shadows, then she brought out a second lot, 
and I do find that the second lot is a little bit more creamier and richer so I'm not sure whether that's something that she's working on or like working to fix kind of thing um, but that is my really only concern and then again it's not really a concern anyway because I guess with darker colors you would rather them be less pigmented so you can build them up slowly um, but yeah that's the only thing I have to say about those other than that, I love them. They're very affordable. They're 10 US dollars each, um, which I think is totally reasonable for the amount of product that you get and the like quality that you get in the product. So I 100% find it very, very reasonable. So moving on to the BH Cosmetics review. Um, so this is the palette here. It is a plastic palette. Um, it has a plastic like frosted look on the lid and when you open it oh, when you open it you get the 28 colors all inside so this palette costs 12 dollars from the bh cosmetic website so that is 12 us dollars um i'm not 100 percent sure what that would convert to in australian dollars at the moment um, but you can just type it into Google and it will tell you straight away. I order all my BH Cosmetics products off the BH Cosmetics website. So yeah, this is what the palette looks like. And first off, I do really, really like this palette. I was very, very highly impressed when I got it. Um, some of the colors swatch absolutely beautifully. And, you know, there is a lot of very, very similar colors in this palette to my Makeup Geek Foiled Shadows, which I will have clips at the end of the video showing side-by-side -side comparisons so you guys can be the judges for yourselves. So I've got a couple of tutorials on my channel using this eyeshadow palette and I really have to say that for the price this is a fantastic palette. I think if you're a freelance worker or um, you're just getting into makeup or you just are like me and want to build on your collection and you just love foiled eyeshadows. I think this is a fantastic affordable palette for you. A lot of the colors are really really highly pigmented. There are some that are quite, um, it's kind of like a hit and miss palette. So some of them are incredible and so pigmented and some of them are not so incredible and not so pigmented. And that's where I do personally think I like my Makeup Geek shadows better because I know with every single shadow that I purchase I'm gonna love it and it's gonna be fantastic and it's going to be super pigmented and all of that kind of thing whereas with this one some of the colors are really 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 good some of them as i said are not so good but in saying that for 12 us dollars for 28 eyeshadows works out to be very 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 cheap and i think you can really like say well i paid 12 dollars and some of them might not be that great but a lot of them are so in the end, it's kind of worth the money anyway. So, as I was saying before, I think if you're someone who is just like a normal person and likes makeup and just likes to wear kind of neutral shades, I would personally recommend to go for the Makeup Geek eyeshadows because you can pick them out singly and pick, you know, neutral shades that you know you're going to wear every day or rotate between um for example like my shades grandstand starry eyed which is like a light champagne um whimsical you know they've got all these beautiful like light um everyday kind of colors in here and you know you're gonna wear them and the formula is that little bit better um at the end of the day i do recommend my makeup geek shadows more but, like I said, I do think this one is great if you're just wanting to get into foiled eyeshadows, if you want to add it to your collection, if you want to try more colours, which is mainly what I wanted to do. I just wanted to get this because it's got such versatile colours, I guess. Um, and yeah. So I think that's everything I wanted to say about the formula and the review. So, as I said before, if you were going to pick one, I would always really pick Makeup Geek because Makeup Geek's my ride or die. I'm like holy grail material Makeup Geek everything. <laughs> um, but again, I do think the BH palette is worth it and you know for $12 you can't really go that wrong. So if you were thinking about getting it and you want to try some different colours out, I would recommend it. So that is it for the video. I am going to get into the swatches and like comparisons now. Um, so I'm not going to swatch every single color, but I do think I have a lot of dupes in the BH Cosmetics palette. Um, and as I said before, some of them are really close and like even the pigment looks so, so, so close. So 
essentially it is a really good palette. Um, so I'm going to get into those now. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to give it a like if you did. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Yeah. Like the attention, girl, I know you. Know you. But you're everything I want in life yeah. We're fighting danger like Kung Fu The love I feel is deep inside The others don't matter It's honestly us against the world We're the perfect team You're my dream and I just want it If you ever need a helper, hey, you should know that I'll be there day and night. Nobody else can love you better. I'm here just to treat you right. You're the reason I'm alive. Shadow. <laughs> oh my god, how do I even clean that up? Oh my god, no, I can't even salvage any of that. Oh. No. Guys, I just fucking savaged one of these eyeshadows. I dropped it and it's gone. And it's one of the makeup geek ones. I'm dead. No, not happy. <laughs> oh, now I've spilt all my Q-tips. <sighs> Guys, I don't even care about the ice shadow now. It's in the fucking carpet. I don't own this house. <sighs> 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Oh, there's another one down here. Sort of comparing formulas and I'm going to be comparing formulas and doing I'm hot, I'm hot, I'm hot, I'm hot. Oh my god.